Hello, my whitey family. How are we all doing? I hope you're enjoying the holidays. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, we'll be cooking together what we call in Yoruba Omiyobe. If you grew up in the western part of Nigeria, you would know what I'm talking about. It's actually, in, you can visually call it in English, palm oil fresh fish stew. It's actually a light stew, not made very thick. That's why it's called omiyobe. It can be enjoyed with rice, yoyewedu amala, and all. So I have there on the screen 2.5 kg salmon fish, fresh fish, which I'll be using for this recipe. You can use any kind of fresh fish you have or you enjoy eating. So the salmon fish has lots of scales. I'm just going to try to clean it up and um, cut them into desired sizes. The Yorubas really, really enjoy making this, especially when you go to the bookers. Then the Yoruba land, you find this is just very popular among the Yoruba household. It's something I used to enjoy eating in my household, even though I'm not Yoruba, but I grew up in Lagos and it was like a common staple food in my house as well i actually do enjoy eating it so i'm just going to clean like i said remove the scales cut them into desired sizes wash the fish and then we'll season it together i want to use this opportunity to say thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting me so far in my journey since i started i appreciate all of your support Thank you, thank you so much for your watching, commenting, giving me like and share. If you also do find this video helpful, do not forget to share with family and friends as well. And drop me your comments so I know you were here and we can get to know each other better. If you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, please remember to do so as well. So this part of the fish, I decided to fillet this Part before cutting them into desired sizes as well so that is done is washed I put them in the strainer so as to let the fish dry out for a bit it took like about 30 minutes until I felt the water was all out now time to season first of all I'm using my white pepper all dry ingredients is what I'm using to season the fish and now my garlic powder then the ginger powder seasoning cubes the fish was actually a lot so I didn't use everything I just took out some and then salt I'm just going to mix to ensure that all of the fish has the seasoning on it cover set aside for like an hour while we are putting that aside, we are going to move to the next item, which is the peppers. So in the bowl there, I have my plum tomatoes, I have onions, I have garlic, because I love to have garlic in all of my blended peppers. And then I also have my red chili as well. So I'm just going to cut those into small sizes, put them in the blender, and then I will blend and we'll continue the cooking process. I like to use a lot of red chili instead of tomatoes so, I, so that I don't have too much of water and I don't have to boil for so long. So more like tatashe as the red chili. That's what we have here. It's a sweet kind though, not like the one we have back home in Nigeria. So guys, have you had this fresh fish stew before? Do you enjoy it? What do you enjoy eating it with? Do you enjoy eating it with begiri, a wedu, or your okra and amala, or just with rice? So now this is done blending. I poured it into the pot to continue the cooking now. So I'm just going to put one seasoning cubes into my pepper because the seasoning from the fish when it eventually when I eventually add it up into the stew, all of the seasoning also would then um, cook alongside with the stew itself. So I just added one 
seasoning cube. Okay, no, sorry, I added two seasoning cubes and then I covered to cook. We'll just allow that cook for a bit and we'll come to check. Now I just checked. It's drying up, getting to almost the consistency I want, and now I am adding my palm oil. The palm oil has slept because we are in a very cold um, season now. So the palm oil seems to be sleeping. <laughs> so I just added my desired palm oil according to how you want it. I'll just allow that to melt for a bit and then I'm going to introduce my fish into the pot. I would not advise seasoning the stew a lot at this point because best to season after the fish must have cooked in the sauce for a bit. Because all the seasoning, the salt, the pepper, everything we had in the fish would cook into the stew. So I'm now introducing my fish now into the stew. Prep and cooking time doesn't take so much for this particular dish. That's why I really like it. So I'm done introducing the fish into the sauce. I'm just going to allow it cook for a bit. bit. And now we'll come to check. At this point now I'm going to test for salt for seasoning and all to make sure that I have the right taste because I'm almost getting to the consistency of what I really want for the homeo bear. <laughs> I really enjoy this particular stew a lot, like I really enjoy it. I know fresh fish doesn't take too long to cook so to cook it for too long. I'm trying to be gentle so that the fish doesn't scatter as well. That's another. Nice. So I tested and everything was okay. I didn't need to add salt. I didn't need to add more seasoning cubes. It was fine. So all I need to do is just let it cook again for a few more minutes and then we'll come to show you guys that this is ready. So you can start boiling your rice or turning your amala. So that we can all eat in the dining table so that's the consistency i want almost there that's why i like it and you can see that we have the oil already settled on top thank you so much guys for watching i truly appreciate if you have watched to this point take care bye bye